Well, welcome back to the Steve Rob Show. Today, I'm going to discuss batteries, when you should change them, how to test them, and what I do. And what I've noticed over the years is there's a big variance between where you live in the world and when you should change your battery. I have a friend of mine down in uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. He owns a shop and he's telling me he's lucky if he can get three, maybe four years tops out of a battery. Another fellow I know, he's from um, Arizona, and he says the same thing, around three years tops. Uh, down in Australia, I'm not too sure, it's a pretty hot climate there too. And uh, I'd be interested for you guys that are from Australia to mention how long a battery average, you know, lasts you down there. Same as South America, I hear you can get maybe four years out of a battery down there at the most. Up here where I am in Canada, where it's a cold climate, I found batteries last a lot longer. Um, I'm usually going uh, between six and seven years on a battery. I'm going to take you out to the truck and I'm going to show you uh, my uh, truck battery. Uh, this is a 2010 F-150 and guys, this is what I use to check my, uh, my batteries with now. I did have the old style, they call them a uh, generic name, which is called a toaster oven type of tester. I'm not too sure if they're better, worse, and different or what, but I just went with this style here. I like it. I have found testing batteries over the years a difference between the old stove type and this type. One would say it pass, this one would say it failed. So I mean, you know, you have to decide what you want to go with, and I decided to go with technology. And so far, this has worked out good for me. So let's go out to the truck and let's test my truck battery uh, from a 2010. Let's see how we do. Okay, so here we are out the truck and uh, here's the tester. I'll zoom you in and I'll show you how this works. But uh, really, I like this because you just set the type of battery, you set the amount of uh, cranking amps. In this particular case, this battery is 850 cranking amps. But again, it's a 2010. So let's get to it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so there we are right there. We got it set. I set it for the cold cranking amps of 850. So there's 850. And it goes to the test. And it's showing me we've got uh, okay and a 720 cranking amps. Okay, so you can see how easy this was to use. Now this is by no means a pro model. Guys, this cost me like 50 bucks. Um, compared to the uh, old uh, toaster oven style. You know, I even mentioned this toaster oven now. Um, for you guys that don't know what a toaster oven style is, I'm going to put a link down below to my buddy Jerry. He did a vid back in October, the beginning of October, and he got the results that I have found using this with the toaster oven one as well. And uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, so I'll leave a link down below for Jerry's channel if you want to check that out too. But I'd like to know what you guys are using. Are you using this style? You know, of course, this is not like a pro style, like a lot of the guys on my channel are professional technicians. But are you using the new technology today? Or are you using the, uh, the old stove type, uh, you know, toaster style type of, uh, you know, battery tester? So, but I, I think they're great. And you know what? I'm changing that battery. And you're saying to yourself, now why? Because it tested, you know, that it passed. But you know what? That battery will cause me more problems. I mean, it's, you know, it's a 2010 truck. So I'm just changing the battery anyways. Now, because I don't want to be driving around during the winter and have the battery go on me. And uh, for what? When I can put one in now, it's going to last me probably another seven years. How long is this truck going to last? And uh, you have more problems by not changing your battery. Uh, you kill your alternator, you kill your starter, and if you do happen to kill your battery in a lot of modern vehicles today, guys, that vehicle ain't going to run right. You're going to have to take it to the dealer, they're going to have to reflash it, you're going to have all kinds of problems. So you're better off, depending on where you live in the world, don't wait till your battery dies. Not everybody has a tester like this that you can test all the time, but by going by age uh, and the uh, particular climate that you live in, just replace the thing. Um, it caused you a lot less uh, grief in the long term. So, okay, thanks for joining in. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again, and let's have some more fun. Bye, guys.